This program is brought to you by Emory University. The Emory-Tibet partnership began as a glimmer in the eye of Emory College Dean Bobby Paul and also a Geshe Loeb song Tenzin Negi. Beginning back in 1991, the fruit of the dreaming of these two gentlemen and the work of many people was the creation of this partnership in 1995 and it was formally ratified in 98. Over the years, Emory has sent dozens of students abroad to study with His Holiness at the Institute of Buddhist Dialectics in Dharamsal. And we have brought Tibetan scholars and students to Emory for visiting lectureships, study, and for cross-cultural learning. We really envisioned the possibility that many of our schools would be engaged over time with this partnership. And in fact, that's what uh, began to happen almost immediately. Work between uh, Geshe Lobsang Tenzin Negi and faculty members in our School of Medicine in understanding the ways in which cognitively based compassion training might have some impact on persons suffering from depression kind of opened the door to understanding that there were some real opportunities here for us to bring together Western science and the kind of inner science that has long been practiced by Tibetan Buddhists. One of the more significant outgrowths of our partnership is the collaborative work of creating a science curriculum for Tibetan monastics. It's a really important world historical event in the sense that two systems of knowledge that have worked in parallel but different paths are finally coming together and enriching each other and the result can only be progress and hope for the future of mankind on this planet. It's a fruit of globalization, right? Here we are reaching out to each other in a way that has never happened before. It's about addressing uh, how do you integrate complex different world views to solve complex world problems. This is a, a great history in making and perhaps 100 years after the people look back, this process of dialogue might find a great contribution to the human legacy. The Emory Tibet Science Initiative is a landmark undertaking to bridge two worlds, the Tibetan Buddhist science of mind and modern science. It seeks to fulfill the long-standing vision of His Holiness the Dalai Lama to develop a comprehensive and sustainable modern science curriculum for Tibetan monks and nuns. I think modern uh, uh, science about mind, I think still initial stage. So therefore, more close work, modern science and ancient, ancient science of mind come together and work together may be, I think, helpful. Uh, firstly, to, to expand our knowledge as an academic. And secondly, uh, with the experiment, eventually, I think, the, we can educate uh, humanity the importance of our uh, inner world or our mind for well-being of our physical and peace of mind. Gradually we can like prepare or help these monks and nuns get the knowledges of science in addition to their Buddhist learning. That I think is very important because these monks and nuns are going to be leaders in the future. Mm, I think it will be helpful to know the science, uh, to know the outside world, and what is the uh, main point of view of the Westerners in their scientific point of view, and to know about the difference between the Buddhist point of view and the scientific point of view. 
And I think most of the monks are the same. They are really curious to know. If they know something, they, they want to know really detail and to the origin of this phenomena. Hopefully, the idea is really to integrate the, the two schools of thought and to find the, the common ground and see maybe how using different language, we're both really trying to say the same thing about the nature of life. Faculty members in our departments of physics and biology, chemistry, anthropology, all came together to work very hard on developing a number of textbook and trimmers. The fact that you guys have come up with textbooks for them on Western science is miraculous. How they've taken to it is miraculous. How it's their language now is miraculous. And you can see the possibilities that this has brought to the community, and I find that incredibly moving. Each May and June of the last six years, our faculty have traveled to Dharamsala, where they have taught some 40 or 50 Tibetan students each year. These students go through a five-year program, and as of this past spring, we have now graduated two classes comprising about 40 students each. At the same time that our faculty members are going to Dharamsala, we are bringing students to our campus. Our ceremony continues now with a celebration and recognition unprecedented for Emory and, as far as I'm aware, unprecedented for any American university. We honor six Tibetan Buddhist monks for their successful completion of courses in the college over the last three years. These Tenzin Gyatso scholars are here as leaders in the Emory Tibet Science Initiative, a landmark project in which Emory professors, at the request of the Dalai Lama, develop and teach science courses to Tibetan monks and nuns, and they now return to their monasteries in India to become science educators themselves. The monks have become part of the fabric of the Emory intellectual and social community. Just this fall, we have welcomed the second class of six. Three years from now, they will return to India and go back into their monasteries to continue the education of their colleagues. Understanding great traditions of wisdom and compassion and of what we need to do for peace, for our fellow humans, all these kinds of things. This is part of, of a good education and the making of a good graduate and of a good citizen. Being in a place that really encouraged me to kind of break down my thought processes and think about not only learning, but how you learn and the ways that you can learn and the ways that you can grow. Change my perspective on education and change my perspective on kind of where I thought I was going with my life. The whole point of this initiative is to bring awareness to the world really on like environmental issues, the issues of the Tibetan people. The Dalai Lama is very big on secular ethics and applying these simple like premise of like intention, having good intentions and how you live your lifestyle and mindfulness of your speech and actions, how that plays into your everyday life for the betterment of humanity. Emory has now developed these tremendously deep relationships that is really well respected. It's contributing back to the community. It's not just taking scholarship and leaving, but it's it's primarily interested in giving back to the community. It's, it's remarkable that, that Emory University, which is in many ways a small university, can have the kind of impact we're having here on such an important question. Tibetan culture and history, which is the most impactful collection of teachings in recorded history, is struggling for its very existence. And the fact that Emory can play such a prominent role in helping the survival of this culture is really quite remarkable. It will take a long time for the thousands of monastic students to really engage in a fruitful way with this science curriculum. And in order to accomplish that, we need the resources. It's very exciting to see the enthusiasm that this has generated. But if we're going to really fulfill the mission and sustain this project, it is going to require ongoing funds or a serious endowment that's going to allow us to keep going with this. So you belongs to 21st century. 21st century, only 10 years passed. Now 90 years yet to come. So people who really create a new shape of this century is you. So you must prepare in your mind, not only taking care of yourself, but you must have the sort of response, sense of, sort of responsibility to take care of this planet or nearly seven billion human beings. So for that combination, your brilliant mind and warm-hearted, these two things combined 
then you can make significant contribution for a better world. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.